Bryce Canyon and it is so nice out here. We're about almost 8,000 feet up, so it's way cooler up here. I have a flannel on. 3,000 is Zion? Yeah, it was compared to 3,000 feet was the visitor center at, at Zion. Yeah, it was hot in Zion, but up here it's really cool. We just drove by a wild camping site, scoped it out. There's some really good BLM land, just 20 minutes out of the park. But we're gonna try to see if we can get a first come first serve site in the park at Sunset Campground because we wanna take showers tonight. It's $18, just like the Grand Canyon. So that's where we're headed right now. There's signs all over the road that say Prairie Dog Crossing and we spotted one in the meadow. Oh, he's going, he's gonna go underground. Oh, oh my God, Prairie Dog Crossing. <laughs> oh man, they're serious about protecting these prairie dogs. So we got to Sunset Campground. We drove around all the loops and scouted out the best spot. We found site number 241, $20. And this is what we got. So we picked this spot because it was long enough to fit our van. And then right outside here, we can open that side door and we have our picnic area, fires. This is a nice like flat area. And then there's nobody camping behind us. And then across the way, just right there is the bathroom. So super excited about this spot. We are gonna complete filling out the tag and stuff, go drop the money at the kiosk. And then we're gonna cook up some chicken fried rice for dinner and just enjoy this. The weather is perfect. It's 75 degrees right now with a light breeze and no humidity. This is amazing, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's 20 degrees cooler than Zion. This is, it's like an oasis up here. I can't wait to just sit in our chairs out here and hang out and eat. Yay! our showers which were awesome at the general store and then we went and got some fire for our camp and now I'm gonna make chicken fried rice welcome to my outdoor kitchen yeah James decided he wanted some yum yum sauce and forgot to pick up some from the store, so he is making his own. It's what's actually in, working. What's in here? A bunch of mayonnaise, a little bit of ketchup, which sounds weird, but that's how it goes. And then we substituted sugar for honey. Yeah, we got honey and garlic powder. Oh, and a tablespoon of melted butter. And this. I might throw that in there too, for the vinegar. Let's I see mean, how it tastes. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it? it looks like yum yum sauce. While I was making the chicken, cutting up the chicken, making the chicken, James started the rice, and then I cut up these vegetables. We're not really going by a recipe uh, for the fried rice. We're just gonna throw a bunch of ingredients together and hope that it works out. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. This is... It's... Surprising, very surprising. So good, we just made, or we just made, James just made yum yum sauce. It legit looks like yum yum sauce. That's crazy. And it's got the it's got the consistent, oh. I can't wait to put yes. that on the rice. If you're wondering why the rice looks like that, we got this, where is the rice? We got this kind of rice. This is actually from Arkansas. I saw it in the store and got excited. We actually hadn't planned to make chicken fried rice at that point, so we just bought it, but it's working just fine. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm pretty proud of this. Yeah, this is, this is the real deal. 
I'm not going to be hungry for a week after that. <laughs> Got a bite with the yum yum sauce. Mm -hmm. That's so legit. Mm. Mm, this is a real deal. That's hands down the best meal we've ever made. We both did equal. <clears throat> like, it was a team effort. <laughs> it was. It's probably been worth it. Oh my gosh. It's worth it. Worth it. Good morning everyone. James and I slept in this morning. It rained a little bit. It was very peaceful. Had a slow morning and made breakfast. And then we went to the visitor center, bought some souvenirs and whatnot. Now we're back at camp. I'm having a salad and James is gonna have leftover rice. And then we are so excited because we're gonna do something super fun today that we've never done before and we're hoping it works out. We are trying to get a horseback ride on the Peekaboo Trail up here at Bryce Canyon. Uh, they are all filled up. However, they told us that we could come at 1230 and get on the standby list. So we're fingers crossed, hoping that works out. We're just gonna see where the day takes us. It is so nice today. Just listen to this. It's so quiet. We have no one anywhere near us camping. This place is, it's empty. Isn't this crazy? I can't see a single, I can't see a single person right now. Yeah, we pretty much have this whole campground to ourselves. It is so nice. I'm just eating lunch and then we'll see if we can get that horseback ride. said we didn't have a prior reservation for the horseback riding so we just called ahead of time and got there early and waited to see if they'd have a spot for us and lucky for us they did okay. one hand there to balance yourself put your left foot in there nope. up there Pretty good, I think. Perfect fit. What do you think? Yeah, feels good. You keep your toes up and your heels down. Hold on to right there. Just keep her loose and she'll just follow. Just ride with one hand. Oh, run right. one hand. And then if you need to steer, reach down with your other hand, pull. She'll turn this way. Okay. And you switch hands, go the other way. Okay. For the most part, though, she's just going to follow. You don't have to steer it off. Just she's not going to buck me off? Heck no. Okay. We don't have those around here. We're gonna have What's to her name? Shasta. Shasta. They all have names. Right yep. Oh my gosh, how cool. Other than that, she's a good old mule. Oh, we're gonna become best friends. You bet you are. All right, let's take you up here by your little friend up here. Unless you don't want to ride by it. <laughs> no, I do. What's your mule's name? He's riding a horse. Oh, if you have a horse, horse, I have a mule. Smile. My mom's calling me. Hey mom. Hey, I'm on a mule right now. 
Yee yee, let's go. Shasta, you're good. You're a good girl. I like you. Go, go, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, this is our first view. Oh, you really like to walk on the edge. That's okay, Shasta. But I trust you. Okay, so if I was going to have an anaphylaxis, it already would have happened. Wow, look at this. Holy cow. Holy horse. This feels like a dream. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned. I'm talking to YouTube right now. <laughs> uh, we are doing the peekaboo loop. I believe this trail takes like three hours. Oh boy. You gonna bounce my bone out of my bra, Shasta. This is relaxing. up there that's one of your tallest plateaus in North America but on top of there on a nice clear day you can look out from on top of there and see mountain ranges all the way out in states of Colorado New Mexico and Arizona it's still there but it's kind of gone away I have this rash from the horse I don't know it's, it's kind of clearing up I and mean, it's still there, but. Ooh, we're going down in the pines. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> James's horse is trying to pass my horse. <laughs> Hey, as long as I'm holding on to the saddle, Shasta just, she knows what to do. I'm kind of ready to run. How about you, Shasta? Woo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> go, go, go! Yeah! Woo-hoo! Wow, look at that up there. southern Paiutes. They believe that all these rocks that you'll see here in the canyon, they all used to be people and animals. But they all got turned to stone by an evil spirit. So in case you guys are curious, that's why you don't see any rock dwellings or any cliff drawings out here in Bryce Canyon. Because the Indians didn't like to come inside this place. They thought it was cursed. Whoa, look at all this. Oh, we're going to go through a tunnel. Woo. Come on, he's done. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> All 
body guy. You see this big overhang right here. This is what they call the Black Canyon. All right, halfway through, we stopped for water and uh, the bathroom. Um, my little rash has cleared up, so that's good news. And we're all about to get back on our our horses, our mules. My, mine's a mule. <laughs> but this is awesome so far. You and Shasta are best friends. Now. We are. Shasta's chilling. <laughs> see here belong. This is what they call a lost chest set. Now, they say if you have a good enough imagination, you can see about every single piece of a chest set out in them rocks. But I like to say, if you have enough, a good enough imagination, you can pretty much see anything. <laughs> Joe says, move. <laughs> I'm trying to hit the gas downhill. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Ooh. Holy crap. Hey, Shasta, survive. <laughs> Goodbye, Shasta. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Your picture is literally the best ever. <laughs> All right, we just finished riding the horses, and it was so much fun. That was awesome. <laughs> it was an eight mile round trip. We did the peak boo loop. We had an awesome guide. We went down into the canyon and saw the trees, saw the, saw the hoodoos. We uh -huh. got a tour where they pointed out stuff that we could never have noticed ourselves. We did this trip through Canyon Rides. It's right by the visitor center. No, this is the lodge. It's right next to the lodge. Our first view of Bryce will always be our memory of on horseback. So it's tired though. Yeah, it, I was asking James, I was like, I wonder how many calories you burn riding a horse, because I'm sore. But now I think we're gonna go get some food.
so I don't know if you guys could hear in the video, but I started getting like some hives on my arm when I first got on the horse, which I was afraid of because I pet a horse last year and I broke out in hives and my eyes did this. And luckily, I was really careful I was on the horse not to touch my face or my eyes. But we just got done, went to a restaurant, and I went in and I washed my hands first and then I washed my face. But I think whatever dander, pollen, dust, or whatever was on my eyelashes, it all got in my eyes and now I look like this. <laughs> It freaking sucks. So I think I might be minorly allergic to horses slash mules. Yeah. It sucks. So earlier we were talking about, about how it was, it felt like a workout riding the horse. And I was like, I wonder how many calories you burn riding a horse. So I just looked it up. James guessed 800. Yeah, for the, how many hours were we out there? For four hours. I just looked up looked it up and for every 45 minutes riding a horse you can burn up to 200 calories so he was right on the money I'm tired that was it was work but it was a whole lot of fun uh, and I think my eye swelling has gone down so we're about to go back to camp take showers and take it easy for the rest of the night